Hey guys, welcome to Aquariums Down Under. Um, on my glass at the moment, I've got some mirrors to see if that um, will help the aggression between the um, between the rabbit fish with the um, the uh, fairy rats because the rabbit fish started bullying and the um, the uh, what do I call it? The hawk fish is starting to attack a little bit as well. But I've just got back from um, some uh, from driving around. I drive pretty quick, uh, far to get these. Um, but before I show you what I got, this burst, the burst nest is down here. I'm gonna put it up after I dip what I got um, because it fell. And you think it happened at night time because it's it was right there um, on the bit of the right. It's um, right. Right there. Um, and good thing it was at night time because the torch corals were closed. So it fell straight past the torch corals and was lying down here. And the base of it has the glue and it was lying on top of the um, that recordia. So good thing it was just the base of the glue is, otherwise they could have killed each other. Um, and I'm pretty sure recordias are pretty aggressive. Um, so they probably would have killed the bird's nest. I've got it sitting down there and I'll glue it back up once I've put another uh, coral in. Um, and so the fairy ass began pretty smashed up um, by the rabbit fish. It has like a bite on the side of it, I think. I think it's bar might be a couple of scars being lifted up. And I haven't cleaned the glass. Yeah, I've cleaned a little spot where the uh, mirrors are. But it's a little bit hard to see this. But in there, it's a Montepora digitata. And it's uh, the forest fire type, which the forest fire is um, the skeleton. Which like, so if you look at this stylo here, the skeleton on it is like a white, whitish beige, but on the digitata it's green, and then the polyps are um, orangey red, and it looks really nice. Um, so I'll probably be putting it on the tip of this right there. Um, so I'll get to dipping it and I'll be using the uh, the new dip I got, the um, uh, Taylor Fishes Revive and giving that a dip and I'm also going to dip this one to pour see if, that's the, if there's a problem with it um, and yes I'll do that and I'll come back with them in the bucket and show you how it's going I'm not sure what's happening right now because I, I got the um, corals in but this one here it's looking like it's gonna die. I don't know what happened to it in the dip, but it has like um, it's losing all its color, and it has um, you can't really see it too well, but it has like a film on it. It looks like it's sort of dissolving into the water. There's a little film there, and it's like that's the same color as the coral. It's like neon grainy yellow. I don't know what's happening with that at all. I just posted into one of the Facebook groups just then, um, seeing if anybody knows what's happening with it. Um, so it might be rapid tissue necrosis. No, no, no one's replied yet, but it might be rapid tissue necrosis, I think, um, which I've never seen before, so I don't know what it looks like. Um, I haven't seen it in person before. So it might be, I'm not sure what it is though. So hopefully someone can reply and there's a way to fix it because it's happening really quickly. It's happened as soon as I had it in the tank, it just started doing it. And also you can see in the front of it, the it's have like like up um there on the front of it. There's a little bump coming out. There's a little bump here as well. But I actually knocked that off so I glued that up back over here. Um to do a pretty messy job of gluing it. But this part up here is not doing the same thing with the weird film and all that, so hopefully that will pull through because I've got no idea what's happening with this down here. Look, you can even see from like last time I showed it to you, it's even more, even more gone. So I've got no idea what, what it was today if I overdosed the dip or something because I did, I did um, the directions on it, which it says mix four capfuls. 40 mils of revive per 3.8 gallons of water. And so I had four liters of water and I had four capfuls. But um, it's, done, it's done that for some reason. I have no idea what's happening with it. 
hopefully it pulls through um, but I'll do an update on the tank and stuff but um, also when, when I went and got the uh, car of the day I went to someone else's house nearby and got this Voyager pump um, and it, I'll take Take it apart, take it one handed. I'll put the camera down for a second. So I got it. So I got it apart. There's the guard of it. So here's the inside, and it has the wrong impeller on it. Um, he gave it to me for free because of that, um, which is pretty nice, but I need to get a replacement impeller on it because at the moment what it's doing it's sucking in the water because I'm pretty sure on my old pump I'm going to take one apart to see on those ones up there it has like this cup thing it has another cup on top I'm pretty sure which directs the flow so it has to come out these holes because at the moment when we test it in his tank it was coming out the side of these so I'm not sure what's really happening with that um, and I also got a Kamoa dosing pump, three, uh, three pump one, second hand as well for a really really good price. I, I wasn't really looking for one that much, but it was a really good price and I intended in the future to get one. So I just decided to get it because it was too good for a price to miss. Um, but a quick update on the tank. Yeah, you can see even more if you look at it there, even more tissues coming off. Um, but a update on what's happening. So, you know what happened with that SBS fell down here. The recording is a bit pissed um, that it fell onto, but they're both doing all right. Um, this Montepora is growing even more. Chalice uh, crusted more. Um, this torch coral, see if you can see if I come around here. No, can't see, I still haven't, it's a good clean class. But, um, yeah, it's, it, I think it's splitting off a new head, which is pretty good. Uh, this bird's nest here is doing well. One back there is doing well. I'm just going to update on the new stuff I got last week, or what's like, if something's doing really well, or if something's doing bad, so I'll just show you. Um, these little pieces that fell off, little one down there, the little one over there, they're still doing well. The hawkfish is a bit pissed though. <laughs> it's sitting over here now. It used to used to sit right there like right there um I put the piece of rock with the coral on it so it's a bit pissed at me at the moment um I got the uh torch coral here I'll probably end up getting rid of it um I'm not really enjoying it over there um I don't really know where I should put it um the Zoas uh, this head here the Zoa has disappeared it's dead um these have still been really weird and dodgy. Should have probably dipped them then. But they got a new head, which is a bit is a bit closed up. I think this thing is just opening. There's a little head on the side. Um, the acans they're sitting on the other side of the rock, over here. Um, and I moved them back to where they originally were because I moved the torch out the way. And they've become way, way, way more fluffy now. I've put them there because they got more light. Um, oh, oh, also, completely forgot about this, I got a new fish as well, it's been like four weeks since I got one, I got myself a bristle tooth tang, that's what's advertised at my local fish store, but I'm pretty sure it's a, um, just a regular coal tang, or a blue eyed coal tang, could you get one with that purple, with the yellow eye, I think it's trying to fight the mirror, but um, this one's like orangey brown with a blue rim around its eye, and blue on its top fin. Yeah, it's a bit pissed at the mirror. It's working for him, but not the one I actually need to stop being aggressive with the rabbit fish. Um, just took the field off to stand on the camera. It's a bit blue. Come down here in the sun. Um, and so I've got the ATI off at the moment because I just took some water out of the tank now. I've put it back in so I can turn the ATI back on. But uh, the skimmer, it's been pulling the skimmer out. It's a bit light, the skimmer. It was up to here before, but then um, early in the week I turned my pump off, my return pump, and then I turned it back on, and um, 
I turn the skimmer on and out on the same time, and because the return paint pump takes time to drain the sump from like up here to down here, the skimmer started overflowing through this other bit, but okay. Um, so with the chatter reactor, I'm now running it. Um, because before I was running it, uh, when I got up for school at seven, uh, um, at like six forty-five, I'd turn it off. No, when I went, when I went to leave for school, like seven thirty. I'll turn it off. Uh, I'll turn it on at um, at uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, ten thirty. Ten thirty. I turn it on at ten, um ten thirty. Off at uh, seven thirty. Um, but now I've got a timer for it. And I've also recently, for the last week, been running it for longer. I've been running it um, till three in the afternoon, and then turning it off, and then turning it back on at ten at night. Um, so it's been going on for like, I don't know how many hours, like 18 or something. That's just to guess, I don't really know how many. Um, but I've been getting way more growth there. I can actually see it growing. But, <laughs> is it? Um, oh, here, I'll be growing in there. Which I don't really mind because it's done the same thing as a child of taking the nutrients out of the water. And it's not growing in the tank, so there's really no negatives to it. Um, but it's also filled with pods, this, um, the, um, reactor. Probably can't see any in the moment, because when I was taking the water out, I left the return pump on by accident. Um, so it drained this chamber, and then that pump there started sucking in, um, air. A little bit of air, so it's all bubbling in there, so it are probably scared and hiding in the middle. But it's got, it's got, it's got really big amp pods in there. You can see. Not one of the big ones, but it's one of them. F pod there in the middle. You can see it moving a bit. There's a couple in there. Um, I can say. But um, yeah. Um, I reckon that's that's it for the update today. Hopefully that the um Montepora pulls through. Um and hopefully the um. The everything else does well in the tank too, and the ratfish stops being aggressive. But um, also my fish, my local fish store, just messaged me. Um, I messaged them earlier, asked them what the price for the uh, impeller was. They messaged me, it gives a really good price, so I'll go and get one of them um, tomorrow maybe um, for the pump, and then chuck it in. Probably replace it up here, and then put that one there around the. Um, on the back here, and also if the um if the mirrors don't work, it's working for this this tang love in the mirrors. Pissed at it, There's another tang in the tank. This guy, I really want this guy to stop being aggressive towards the mirror instead of the fish. But um, I might add some more rocks here and try and make like a little cave, um, like cave area and like lots of hiding spots. The fish actually can go hide there, and also there's not as much room around here, but I could try to do it around here as well. Um, but that, that's it for the update today. Um, actually no it's not, <laughs> I'll be back in like an hour when the uh, Bontepora opens up and I'll show you that. Um, but so I'll see you then and then I'll finish the, up, finish the video. Just at the moment it might be a bit noisy because I'm holding the, um, the lens in front of the camera so I have a lucky band on. But this, I uh, can't see the colours out on it anymore. But the tang got really pissed and went like neon orange and it started up and down the tank kept tails wiping the glass where it could see its reflection in the mirror. Hopefully it does it again and we can have a look at it. Um thing I'm about to is keep going up and down and just gets tail swiping the glass. And also the reason why um tail swiping the glass is because um tangs, they're also called um sometimes called surgeon fish. And the reason for that is a come around here to my unclean glass. This is not the, really the best example. You can see it better on like an Achilles tank. Um, you can see the better. But on their tail, between their body and their tail, the little, um, they have, it's hard, but they have um, a little blade on either side. If they feel stressed or threatened, they can like stick it out and then they tail swipe stuff and it cuts it. Um, so that's, that's why it's tail swiping the glass right now. I, I bet you as soon as I turn this camera off, it'll be going up and down the tank, tail swipe and everything again. But I'll see you when the uh, Montepora is um, all opened up. 
So I've got the pump in the tank. I managed to fix it. Um, the only problem with this pump is that this is the um, angle it has to be at. Because if these pumps here, it has a screw thing in it. And then on the other side, it, it just like clicks in. Um, and it's and like you can angle it whatever angle you want. You can change it like one degree of an angle if you want. But with this one, it has like a spiky thing, like a circle, and it goes up and down like spikes. And then it clicks in. But um, there's two little lines at the end of each thing that clicks in. Um, that stick out. So when you turn it, it like clicks and goes into the next spike. And then you click again, goes to the next spike, and it does that the whole way along. So you can go like at this angle. Or it can go like at that angle and shoot at the top of the water, which is not really like what I'm wanting. But I may end up just putting this pump um, here and that that pump over there around here because I can get it to the right angle that I want it to be at. Um, but so so with this pump, how I fixed it is because this, this is what the pump looked like before, um, and what it was missing it wasn't it wasn't the wrong impeller that it had. It was just missing this um, like cap thing that goes on here that um, angles the flow so it comes out these end holes. Whereas before it was just coming out the side vents that's supposed to suck water in. Um, so I got that working, but now I can't. I gotta get another one of those uh, vent things to, not the vent, one of the uh, things that angles and focuses the water flow to put up here. And I messaged my local fish store, they said they don't sell them as. Um, spare parts, but they um, said they could have a look around and see if they could um, find one for me. Um, they're a pretty good fish store. Um, and so th this digitata here, it looks amazing. It's it it's really stands out in this tank because everything else in here is just um, everything else is green and it's just little tiny orange, like bright bright orange. Did you tie it up here? And it's looking pretty nice. I'm probably gonna, I'll, after the f finish from this video, I'm probably gonna take this out and put this back in because all this down here is pretty like stagnant, not getting much flow because I can't angle this up because at the moment it just shoots across here and hits that wall and then goes down around here and get um, around the bottom. It doesn't give much flow as before. It was angling up, hitting here. It like bounced off the um, tube there and hit here where it hits the other pump and like spiral down the middle of the tank and it give all the um, euphilia here quite a bit of flow. Um, whereas at the moment with this it's just going around the tank because um, I can't angle it up that much. Um, yeah, um, I can't, I can't, I couldn't get a video of this tank doing the thing with the uh, mirror. But <laughs> The Melanoris rats, look at it, it's just like swimming into it and keeps buying it rapidly. It, it's seen itself in the mirror too, and the Tang, Tang's trying to fight it as well. It's coming for a tail swipe just then. But, and, and then the rabbit fish here is not even doing anything, you're just watching them do it. It's just chilling around. But, um, yeah, also with this, the Montipora. So this Montipora here, I was talking to people in Marine Aquarium Finance Australia, where if you're a, um, if you're in Australia and you're into marine aquariums, I really recommend joining Marine Aquarium Fanatics Australia on Facebook. Because if you're looking for a coral, you can post like, does anyone have any, like this digitata, I said, does anyone have any um, Montipora digitata in Perth? And like lots of replies, um, people send me their photos. And you get really good price as well. But also if you need help with stuff, they um, people can help you. And so I posted this up 10 minutes later, um, got some help with it. And they're saying people are saying that like um, sometimes the Montipora um, plates um, don't like dips too too much. And because before I was using this, uh, I was using CKM reef dip, and because it's not a very strong dip, it wasn't um, damaging them. But then I used the revive this time. It's a strong dip, um, which the digitata has gone through because digitata is like. All other corals can go through, apart from like deep water acros and um, Montefiore plates, you were saying, don't really like dips too well. Um, so that's what was happening, it was stripping, it was just like dissolving the flesh kinda. Uh, I don't I don't think it's dissolving the flesh, the colour out of it, because it's purple now, but the flesh is still there, it's not the bone, because the bone is white. 
Um, but yeah, he said that it, it, it stopped at the moment. He said that um, it should come back in a couple of months. Um, yeah, the Montepores are like really good at coming back, he said. He said that if, if the Montepore, say if there's digitata up here, the whole thing died, except for one tiny, tiny, tiny little polyp, it would come back. So um, hopefully it comes back. Um, uh, yeah, that's it for the video, I guess. Um, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next week. Where I'll probably be showing how to set the dosing pump because I'm still trying to figure out how much alkalinity my tank uses. I'll test my um, alkalinity in a couple of hours now because I tested it at the same time yesterday and see how much it uses up. And I'll set that up for just the alkalinity because my tank doesn't use that much calcium at the moment or magnesium at all. Um, that's actually how to set that up. Um, and probably what I'm going to be doing with the flow around here. And I might also show you how to make um, custom DIY Voss water bottle dosing containers. Um, so I'll see you next week. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, see ya.